No one owes you a single thing. <laughs> you make everything yourself and sometimes hard work doesn't cut it. Hello and welcome to this video. Today I'm so excited to be joined by none other than Kajal. Oh, thanks. <laughs> So Kajo has an amazingly big YouTube channel. Not that big. <laughs> Kajo has a really wonderful YouTube channel <laughs> that focuses on being a consultant and the kind of productivity and life skills that you require to just have a good life in general. Don't oh, you? thanks. Yeah, yeah, I try to I try to talk about self-improvement, productivity and uh, career stuff on my YouTube channel. So, so yeah. And she's been featured on many big YouTube channels. So, nice. <laughs> <laughs> so today's topic, we're going to be talking about consistency and why it's so difficult to be consistent. Yeah. So as you know, on this channel, I always talk about consistency. Do you know yeah. that? I know that. <laughs> yeah, I watch your stuff. Yeah. It's because for me, consistency is, I've always found it easy, but I don't know, other people find it difficult. So we kind of want to go into why that is so yeah. difficult. And there are many reasons why. So there's so many reasons why, because I think I am usually like quite a consistent go-getter for the last like three months. Oh, mate, guys, like it's totally gone. <laughs> <laughs> so why do you think that is? Like sometimes you can be so consistent and sometimes mm. you can be so productive and then you have the dumps where like yeah. the slumps and the dumps where it's just so difficult so oh why god. do you think that is there's so much oh yeah, god well, like, okay yeah well basically everyone so i used to literally after work after working at 10 11 p.m i used to like work really hard on my youtube and all this stuff 10 to, p.m i know it's I, bedtime i know me i mean i wake <laughs> up at seven and then obviously by, by the time i finish work it's like 11 and stuff so then when i sit down on youtube like i used to just write scripts and i used to edit and all this stuff and i've been doing this for like a year and a half but the last three months like i've just literally had no motivation to just sit there and write about career content at like 12 p.m at midnight yeah. after work right so one of the reasons i think that happened is because i just got mentally exhausted and i didn't really see that i was mentally exhausted i didn't really like sort of see the signs and then i just like burnt out so then like i feel like i had this motivation for like five years you know and then it just kind of vanished one day so i'm trying to i basically I spent three months refinding and rekindling this motivation to be honest okay so burnout is a really good topic that you raise so yeah. when when you go at something 100 percent or 90 yeah. percent and it's you just can't keep that it's like 120 percent and you just can't yeah. keep it forever see for me I've, i'm always at 60 percent. i don't know i, I really don't <laughs> want to put like i work hard to make things easier for myself yeah. that kind of makes sense yeah, yeah like for me efficiency is more important than anything else and yeah i prioritize my rest so much yeah i wish i could but in consulting mm. it's so hard I mean, but they always say that, like, there's no, you, always... No, you say that, but yeah. I wake up at seven. Yeah. And then I go into work and my commute's like an hour. I work Who's till like... That? I know, it's my Who lives in a farm? I don't know, me. <laughs> and then I work till like eight, nine. And then by the time, like, I've, sometimes I'll be a little bit later. Then by the time, one hour to get home, then okay. sit on YouTube. Okay. So then where do I have the time? <laughs> I mean, some might argue that you can always make the time. You can always find the time. That's not true. I disagree. <laughs> yeah, but okay, during your commute, what do you do? I read, I read for my YouTube. Oh, okay. So like I'm actually like doing stuff on my yeah, YouTube yeah. and then I just find it like I can't write on the train because sometimes I'm standing and stuff yeah. as well. So I'm really saying this in a really elongated way, but burnout is yeah, a the, key the... killer. <laughs> so yeah, so burnout is definitely a key. So how can, how do you think you can stop burnout or like the ways in preventing it? I think like you need to know the signs of when you are burning out because it ends up like you, you get like warning signs. Like for example, you don't want to get out of bed for instance or something. Like I mean, I'm not going to lie. I've been lying in bed till like 11 a.m. Um, on my days off recently. Wow. <laughs> uh, no, I don't know. <laughs> um, and then there's like other warning signs that you end up getting, right? Like maybe you don't want to see your friends or maybe you don't want to do anything or just feel like you, you don't want to be in the house or you need to do something, right? Or you don't want to just sit down and open your laptop to do YouTube or whatever it is, right? So there are warning signs and eventually all those warning signs build up and then you just will not want to do anything like anything and that's what happened to me three months ago <laughs> okay so you said before that five years of good pure productivity yeah, i think that's what it was i never took rest like i never yeah. rested myself yeah. weekends youtube or seeing yeah, friends i okay. never had like time for myself yeah. so you basically just you just stacked your calendar oh yeah no gaps yeah no gaps and yeah. even like now all my days off yeah. i've stacked up my calendar just to oh. see friends you're still doing it then i know yeah. i know guys this is this is like <laughs> history is repeating itself how do you expect to come out of it <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, how about you? What do you think um, another way to, ke to keep consistent is? So I think another reason why we stop being consistent yeah. is because we don't see results. Yeah. 
and it's really hard. It's demotivating. It's so demotivating. Yeah, it always comes down yeah. to some sort of motivation, some sort of push that you're waiting yeah. to happen. But I feel like you shouldn't really wait for that push. Yeah, I, I agree. And also, like, I think a lot of the time we compare ourselves to other yeah, people, that's... which is why you demotivate yourself even more. Like, even yeah. for me, like, you know, I recently hit 10K on YouTube. <laughs> no, not who, but like, none of my videos have ever gone viral. Like, all of my yeah. videos have just been like getting people through like yeah. search. Yeah. So, like, I'm like, why, why hasn't a single one of my videos ever gone viral? like mm. viral yet whereas there are people out there with like less or more who has like 100 subscribers yeah, and yeah. 1 million views <laughs> yeah. and I'm just like oh man I wish you know like why yeah, why, yeah. why do I not have the luck yeah. so you always compare yourself to other people yeah. but the thing is you should compare yourself to your previous self is how I yeah, see it now yeah imp- it's self improvement it is self improvement yeah that's the thing a big change is always exponential mm. like that's literally after day x that's when yeah. the growth is visible so you have to remember that when you're growing you're not going to see any changes. Yeah. And when you're measuring things day to day, like for me, I always open my YouTube analytics yeah. and check my subscribers daily. Yeah. And then I think I don't gain any subscribers. Yeah. But if you look month by month, you like the growth is massive. Yeah, it's massive. And also yeah. you don't realize that a lot of people have done years and years of silent hard, like work in the back and then boom, randomly they do really well in one one area or they get, like, let's say, yeah. they, like, they go viral in one area. So, like, MKHBD had, like, what? Oh, MKBHD. Like, yeah, M- one of my favourite <laughs> They had, like, five years oh, of, my, like, you see his know, first videos, they're terrible. They're terrible. Five years of just doing this yeah. with, like, maybe making, like, 400 subscribers or whatever it is, right? Yeah, he was, um, he was celebrating. Yeah, it was, yeah. yeah. So, but then, like, you know, it, it takes years sometimes, to, you know, for the work at the back as well. Yeah, of course. Well, yeah, so. with every singer that becomes famous, they say the same thing. Like, I think come yeah. up over night it was like years and years of yeah. hustling but also i want to say that just because you work hard do you mm. think you'll be successful as well it's not true yeah that's something it's that, actually not true that's another reason why yeah. consistency is hard because you feel like you're owed something mm. for your hard work yeah and that's the thing in this world no one owes you anything no one owes you a single thing <laughs> you make everything yourself and sometimes hard work doesn't cut it it's sometimes not just hard work. yeah you need to learn when to quit right so if there's a reason you'll be inconsistent sometimes it means that you might need to quit because it isn't the right thing for you you've got no motivation to do it and hey come back and you know take a break and then come back and see if it is the right thing but i mean that's what i did with youtube i've kind of not done it for a month now to be honest which is a long time and you either refresh yourself or you realize it's not the right thing for you to do and that is completely fine but at least move your efforts on to something else i actually see this all the time in academia mm. so people that do degrees that are so hard for them but they feel yeah. like if i put 110 percent of my effort in it i'll manage to do it yeah. but by then they're just burnt out yeah 100 percent because you're overworking yourself yeah. just to keep up yeah maybe with other yeah. people it's it might not be your niche and that's okay yeah. stop comparing it, all these points are just so interlinked yeah, stop yeah. comparing yourself with others just because someone has a really good degree doesn't mean that you should get the same degree yeah. and you shouldn't do something that takes 90 to 100 yeah. percent of your effort for a long period of time because you're not going to be able to sustain yeah, that yeah no 100 percent yeah and other reasons why you know you feel like you're inconsistent sometimes so i know that it's very boring i think that's a really big mm-hmm. point Con- being consistent is so boring imagine having the same yeah. cereal every day for me that's oh, a dream i, I hate love that. that i hate that i would not be able to have the same cereal every single day i have the same food every single day i hate routine like i hate routine Do, yeah. yeah this is why I'm, I, this is why i'm not consistent yeah because i hate routine i need every day to be different exactly so some people aren't routine people yeah. some people are routine people some people are sporadic and some yeah. people are spontaneous yeah. you have to mold life to mm. you yeah it's true you are your own person you, you are your own narrative literally yeah. you are the center of your universe you are main character <laughs> <laughs> you're the main character yeah <laughs> exactly so i really do feel like yeah. You can't just stop looking at other people yeah, yeah. and how they did it. Stop yeah. looking at YouTubers who are on who are really successful. Stop looking at business people like Elon Musk. Yeah. Everyone just talks about Elon Musk all the time. Yeah. He's, he's his own person with his own troubles as well. But he's made it because he molded himself to the world. Yeah, exactly. or, or his anyone. image of what he is. Yeah, to the world, and sometimes right? it's luck, sometimes it's a combination of yeah. many different things. Yeah. But you know what? You can increase that luck. Increase yeah. that chance. Yeah, it's called the unfair advantage. Like any unfair advantages you have, mm. be it let's say university you went to or whatever it is, you try and use it to its ad- full advantage. Yeah, imperial. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> imperial. <laughs> <UCL>. <laughs> but yeah, just try and use it to whatever advantage you can. And I think sometimes we feel guilty of doing it, but the thing is that lots mm. of other people are doing it out there. So why shouldn't you? Oh, you almost yeah. feel like you are demeaning yourself or like you're boasting or whatever it is but it's fine to do that we put such like a negative thing around yeah. it but it's actually fine to do that and that's how other people kind of run the race faster than you may as yeah. well 
A common trait in a lot of people that are successful is they don't really care about or they don't let other people's thoughts about them yeah. change what they're going to yeah, do. Yeah, exactly. And I think I've, I've, done, I've got this mentality now where I literally don't care what 99% of people think. 99%, yeah. maybe the 1%. I mean, I it's, it's impossible yeah. to stop caring yeah. about something. And you just need to like detach yourself from anything good that happens, but also anything bad, obviously, right? Yeah. So when you stop caring what other people think, I think you become more confident oh, right. in yeah. who you are. It happens to everyone at a different yeah. age, but I remember it happened to me quite young. I stopped caring. It happened literally... to me quite late, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it happened to me really late. I remember I was working at a pharmacy. There's this um, pharmacist. He was only 28, but he yeah. remember he said, from this year, I really don't care about what yeah, people think. Yeah. And your world changes. And that happened to me much earlier, because I was thinking, yeah. why not? And yeah, yeah. once you stop caring about what other people say about you, yeah. it just becomes so much easier. Yeah, and you just won't, you won't restrict what you do because of what other people think. And yeah. that means you kind of reach your full potential a lot more and you push yourself a little bit more than you would otherwise yeah and also i have to say that patience is so important oh, yeah everyone grows at different rates everyone does and yeah. i think th this comes back to us like comparing ourselves to other people because we kind of really just like you know we just we just like why can't we have it now you know like and i think actually patience is something which i'm trying to learn as well actually because mm, i'm it's so very impatient. difficult it's not easy is it's it? not easy yeah. at all yeah. but like you know, it will come, but the journey is much more important than the destination, as we all say, right? So, it's so easy to say that. It's phrase, so, isn't it? so hard. I know what you mean. It's so hard. Yeah. It's so hard. But yeah. Um, and then obviously, like the, another point I'd like, like to raise is sometimes, like we obviously have like extenuating stuff going in the back. So, like for me, yeah. one of the reasons why I've actually been a little bit like anti YouTube or anti doing anything things because I've had like stuff going on on the side with family and all this stuff. So for me, like that's actually seeped through and impacted everything mm, else that I want yeah. to do. So that means I just feel like I don't want to do anything. Yeah. So sometimes we need to also learn emotional detachment. <laughs> oh, I'm so good at that. <laughs> I'm not good at this. I'm I think honestly a, I think it's a girl thing. What do you think? Mm, no, maybe it's just me. I can't detach myself. I mean I'm not gonna be sexist, but <laughs> it is more dominant in females yeah. just because they're more caring. Oh, thanks. I'll take that. No, I, I'm thanks. definitely a feminist. So, yeah. oh, thanks. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like sometimes we need to learn to be emotionally detached from things and the consequence of doing something. So try to like compartmentalize yeah. stuff in your, like that's going on in your life yeah. or going on or whatever. And don't let it affect your mindset to do other things, which I definitely have over the last three months, I think. Oh, by the way, like your past two like Instagram posts have been really good. So oh, make thanks. sure you, um, <laughs> all the links are going to be in the description. I just make sure write you, you make sure you just, <laughs> Like in a minute, I'll just write you on my sofa. so good. Really? I read it and it resonated with oh, me, thanks. even though I don't have emotional issues. <laughs> I'm having emotional issues. <laughs> no, that was so good. So make sure you follow her mm. on Instagram and also definitely subscribe oh, on the YouTube. Oh, I appreciate Hopefully that. Hopefully we can get her to 20k even though I don't no, have 1k. I'm not even on like 10 points. No, it's going to be exponential. Trust me, uh, it's going to be. I don't know. Yeah. Don't know. Thanks. Thanks for the belief. <laughs> I have the belief. It's in the abundance. <laughs> It's going to be Kajal oh, 1M. No way, no way, guys, no way. Yeah. No, it is going to be, trust me. Oh, I appreciate that. No, it's fine, because you're going to be on my channel forever. I'm not going to do that video. <laughs> you just use me. Yeah. But yeah, no. Thanks for having me on um, your video. No, thank you well. for coming. I know you're so busy. Like, even after now, she has a meeting. Like, can you imagine? She's back to back to back meeting. Work meetings, guys. Yeah, and she Consult still made the life. times. It just talks about her character. No, how nice stop, is. stop. No, Kajal is a really nice person. I really appreciate that. Yeah, she, she's very helpful. <laughs> like, but when I first got in contact with you, I had like 500 subscribers or something. Doesn't make a difference. Gonna hit 1k soon, hopefully. <laughs> make it bear hit 1k. Yeah. So I hope this video has been quite informative. Like, I feel like Casual has given really good advice. And you. I just came out from thin air, really. <laughs> Mine too. Yeah, it's just the setup, isn't it? You feel like we're in a broadcast instead. Yeah. Right now. It's really hot as well. So, thank you guys for watching. Do you have anything else to say? No, I think that was it. Thank you all so much for watching. You know, yeah. please keep supporting your bear as you go along as well. Yeah, and make sure you check out all her videos. Oh, no, I appreciate that. Playlist it or <laughs> give her the watch hours. Yeah, like the video if you liked it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel as well. And as always, thank you for watching. Thanks. <laughs>